In today's video, I'm going to be following up Lifehacker's Pure Evil episode and showing you an alternative which works on Linux called Stegui. Now, it uses steganography to embed files within one another, and the original project is called Steghide. I'll put those links in the description. Now, as you can see here, I've just got an image file and a text file. So I'm going to embed the text file within the image file. So I've just got this from my official repositories in my Linux distro, and I'm using Fedora 14. So here you can see that I've installed it, and now I'm just going to go and open the program for you. So I'm opening a new file, and this is going to be the image file, so I'm just going to find my pictures directory, open up the JPEG file I downloaded, and now I'm just going to go and just show you the filters actually. Yeah, um, if your file doesn't appear there, you'll want to select all files. It's, some, it's very sensitive to like lowercase extensions and stuff, so you might want to check that filter if you can't see your files properly. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go to Actions and Embed. And this is where we're going to actually embed the text file. So File to Embed in Cover File. I'm just going to go to the Pictures directory where my text text file is and now I need to change the filter and I'm just going to hit OK now it's selected the image file we've got open as the cover file I'm just writing a file name now and obviously you'll see there's an array of encryption techniques and algorithms which you can use and then within those algorithms there's multiple modes so obviously it's a very sophisticated encryption program for this Compression level, just set that to 9 really. It just means that it's compressing the data and like the image within it. Embed the file name and the checksum, that can be useful for checking you've got the actual file and someone hasn't actually brute force attacked it. Put in a passphrase, I've just put my password. It'll say that it's exported it correctly. Now I'm just going to go to my pictures and there's the embedded.jpg which we just exported. So you can see the picture's still the same. And now, if we just check that it has actually put the text in, I'm just going to select properties, and you can see it's 19.3 kilobytes. So now we'll select the new file with the text in, and it's 19.7. So there's like 0 0.4 kilobytes added to the file size. So that's a good thing because we know the data has actually been encrypted and added to the file because you can see it's a tiny bit bigger. So now back in Stegiri, I'm just going to quit out of it, and I'm doing this to show you that it does actually work. But first, I'm just going to delete the file so you can see that it is actually working and it's not just loading in it from the original or something like that. So now I'm going to load the program once I've deleted the files, open up the new JPEG file, you can see this is the picture, and I'm going to go to Actions Extract. Everything's pretty much filled in. You just need to select what you want the extracted file name to be, input the passphrase, and hit OK. There you go. It tells you that it's done it successfully. And here you'll see extracted.txt. So that's how to use it. So there are different ways you can use it, but that's basically.